All our toys are suddenly gone. Our adventure has just begun. To get them back, we travel around in hopes that one day they might be found. Toy Seekers Episode 15 The Football Match The Roundy family continued their exciting adventure around the world in search of the bubble and their lost toys. Kids, we've got the bubble. It's flying above a big city in Brazil, Mom said enthusiastically. Brazil? Great! Guess what, kids? Everyone is a huge football fan here. Children, adults, and even the elders. Football is one of the most popular sports in the world, and Brazilians are really good at it. They even hosted a world championship. When we land, we'll definitely play a game just for fun. Dad was excited. The four-wheeled flying boat soon landed. We should find a stadium where it's shady to avoid sunstroke and play a match. Here we are. This is a perfect football field. Let's go in. Dad pointed at the stadium, but Otto turned his attention to something else. Oh my gosh, you look just like us, Otto exclaimed. Hello there. You are not from around here, are you? We are the Circles, and we've come to play football, Mr. Circle said, and he pointed at a football with Otto's sticker on it. Now the Roundies knew they had found their lost ball. Hey, that's my football, Otto exclaimed, and he ran to the other boy. Give it back to me. Easy, boys. Look, Mr. Circle, a big strange bubble took our toys from the garden, and we have gone all over the world to find them. This is the last one, so please give our ball back to us. I have an idea, Mr. Circle replied. We play a match, and the winner takes the ball. We can play here, in the stadium. Fair enough. Let's do that, Mr. Roundy approved. Come on, my little family. We can do it. Dad encouraged Team Roundy. Now who wants to be the goalkeeper? Dad asked. Pick me. I don't want to run a lot, but I promise I'll be fast. Emma said. Then everybody took their positions. Come on! Mom was cheering. Run, Otto! Run! The boy easily beat the goalkeeper. Goal! Goal! The roundies shouted together. Woohoo! You're very good! However, their victory was short-lived, as the other family put the ball in the back of the net. Yay! Yeah! The circles jumped for joy. It's all right, Emma. You were great. It's not your fault. We can still win this game. Dad comforted his sad little goalkeeper girl. After the equalizing goal, both teams had to really fight hard. But in the end, the circle family won. Good job, Emma. Otto snapped at his sister. Why did you let them score that goal? Now our ball is lost because of you. You're so mean. You know I tried my best. Emma defended herself. Anyway, if you hadn't thrown our toys away, we wouldn't be here without our ball. This is all your fault. It's not true. <laughs> Otto burst into tears, so both of them were crying. <laughs> Kids, that's enough. Dad tried to end the quarrel, but the children kept crying. This is yours, little Snoozy said with wide eyes, and he gave the Roundy family's trophy to the Circles. Oh, thank you. Mr. Circle got surprised, but he wasn't really happy. We don't want you to be sad, so we'll give you back your ball. You have earned it. 
This is very kind of you, Mr. Circle. We're glad. Thank you so much. Dad was grateful, but Otto still wasn't quite happy. Silly ball. I wanted to win it for real. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Otto kicked the ball so furiously that it flew high up in the air. Now, Otto, come on! What? Wow! Mom stopped when the bubble suddenly appeared, floating above the football field. The Roundy family finally came face to face with the bubble. And they thought this was their chance. It was high time to get some answers, but what questions should they ask? Find out in the next episode.